we've got here is a new battery from Dr. Prepare with an LED screen. Let's dig in here and check it out. We've got our lugs here. Nice piece of thick foam. Got our product manual here. We'll go over that in just a second. Let's get this out of the box. There we go. Now we'll get a quick voltage on this of how it came. It's 13.2 uh, volts, 33%. According to this, let's get our voltmeter here. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. Thirteen point one nine and this thirteen point two. Pretty darn close. The folks over at Doctor Repair sent me this battery and they asked me to do a teardown on it. Now that's something new to my channel. I haven't done a teardown before, so I'm gonna hopefully I can uh, tear this apart fairly easily here. Uh, and what they want me to do is to sh to prove basically that they're cold and high temperature protection works. So I'm happy to do that because I do live in an area where cold temperature protection is extremely important to me because it freezes here and in my RV the batteries are all stored in my garage area that I don't tend to heat at night. So it, it is an important feature to have. So I'm curious to see that myself. So I'm going to enjoy doing this video and uh, I hope you do too. All right, I'm not entirely sure what the best way to film this is, so I'm just going to get after it and see what I can do here. All right, so I got mad respect for these guys that do this on YouTube all the time. I'm not gonna mess around. And I'm just gonna cut it open. We'll just get her done.
Now we're tacking. Boom! Alright. Look at that. Alright, so I'm not going to pretend that I know what all of this stuff in here is, but I can tell you the things that I do know. And that is that this here, for the positive side, is a nice silicone 6 gauge wire, which is a pretty good sized wire, and it is marked as 6 gauge. And then on the negative side, there's three wires that are 10 gauge going to this side of the BMS. And then this side over here is connected to this little bus bar that's down here. And what that does here is this screen appears to be pretty accurate. We're going to find out whenever we go to do the capacity test here next uh, to see how accurate this is. But this appears to be a shunt. So the only way to really keep track of the status, the uh, state of charge of a lithium ion phosphate battery is with a shunt that monitors the power coming into the battery and the power going out of the battery and then doing some math and figuring out where it's at because a lithium ion phosphate has a really steep uh, discharge curve. So it'll stay at the same voltage for a long time. And a lot of the original uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries that came out that had these little screens on them, the screens were old and meant for a uh, lead acid batteries. And those are different. That you can kind of tell where the charge, uh, the state of charge is by the voltage. You can't do that on a lithium ion phosphate battery. And the way that this is wired, and when I did charge it up just now, it did appear to be uh, keeping track of the amps coming in. I'll show that here right now uh, of the when I hooked it to the charger of the 10 amps coming in. Um, so we're going to see what happens when we do the discharge test now. And we're going to do that next here and check the capacity of the battery to make sure that we're getting a full 100 amp hours of charge. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and check this probe here. This battery has low temperature and high temperature protection. And that's one of the main, that's the reason we cut this open so that we could test this to make sure that the low temp and high temp protection cuts off so that it will not charge the battery below freezing. So first we're gonna do a capacity test, drain this battery all the way down, then we're gonna charge, start charging it back up and then we'll test this to make sure that the BMS cuts it off if it's too hot, which we'll do with a heat gun, and too cold, which we'll do with an ice pack to make sure that it's operating the way that it should. So let's go ahead and get that uh, capacity test started and I'll see you here in just a second. And then we'll look at this screen while we're at it. All right, we're going to go ahead and start this capacity test here using my new uh, meter from Junk Tech. The thing that's different about this meter from my old one is that this measurement is for the capacity of the battery of what you set it to. But what we're trying to check to see is if we can go over that capacity. So what I've done is set the capacity to 102 amp hours instead of 100, 100 amp hours. And then and we'll see if we can get a, a complete 100% discharge on 102 amp hours. And then we'll know that we're over capacity. So we'll go ahead and get this test started. We're going to hook this up to my Mango Power E and transfer the power from this battery over to the Mango here. All right, there we go. We'll let that run. I'll get back to you. All right, so we totally passed our capacity test. And remember, we had this set at 102 amp hours, not 100 amp hours. And it still got all the way through. So we know it's at least 102 amp hours. But what I really wanted to know is how the voltage will return uh, after we disconnect it. And how fast it can return and where we're at as far as voltage after the capacity test has drained 102 amp hours. You don't really want to ever drain these batteries completely 100%. It 
because you can cause some damage doing that too often. It can be done, but you just don't want to do that too often. So I don't really like to get it all the way. As long as it's over 100 amp hours, it's definitely a pass. 102 amp hours is excessively passing. And so let's just see out of curiosity uh, and let's watch the voltage go back up now. All right, as you can see, about 10 minutes later, our voltage returned to 12.1 volts, which is pretty good. All right, let's check this cold temperature and high temperature protection. All right, this, I don't know why this screen, I can't get it to stop flickering. It's only from the camera. It's not doing that in real life. All right, so we're gonna test this uh, cold temperature protection here. What I'm gonna do is put this in this little tray here and spray some butane on it. And what we're looking at here is we should see this drop out. And there we go. Dropped out. Cold temp protection. It did it like it was supposed to. Warm that back up here. And there we go. Now let's check the high temp protection. Make sure that's working okay. For that, we'll use our heat gun here. And we should see the same thing happen here. And there we go, high temp protection. Dropped out to zero, just like it's supposed to. All right, so out of all the batteries I've reviewed, this is my current favorite. I think it's a fantastic price. The quality is there. The capacity is there. It has the low temp protection, the high temp protection. The little screen here is, is fairly accurate. I, the price cannot be beat. I don't know how they're even doing this. It's a budget battery, but it's a premium battery at a budget price, really. So I would absolutely recommend this battery. Um, this appears to be a company that's really focused on quality. Uh, not just with their batteries either. You know, I have a uh, a little portable heater and a portable fan that maybe I'll do a review on those in the future or something. But both of those have been fantastic. I use the heater all winter and I've just started using the fan this summer and it puts out a heck of a lot of wind for a pretty small amount of wattage. So this is a, a reputable company that, that really go in places in my opinion. If you like these kind of battery review videos, I'm going to go ahead and put a link right here to my playlist of all my battery reviews. So you can go here anytime and check it out and see what else we got to, to offer. But as of, as of the making of this video, this is the best in the 100 amp hour space. Mm -hmm.